everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It is Vlogmas Day 20, and today I'm going to go get my hair cut and condition, as well as get a tattoo, which I am very, very stoked about. I have been wanting this tattoo for about a year and a half, and I am finally getting it. I finally got the courage to decide that I'm going to actually do it. I will take you along the journey today. First off is hair. I think I'm going to cut my hair to like here. It really needs a good chop because when I bleach my hair and make it blonder, it just gets more dead. And the last time I got my hair done, I wasn't able to get it cut because we didn't have enough time. So it definitely needs a nice cut. And then I'm going to get my hair redone, like redyed and everything in January before I go back to school. Let's head off to the hair salon, get my hair cut and then get a tattoo. I'm going to go in and get my hair cut now and I will show you guys the finished product when I am done getting my hair done. Yeah? Yeah. Here is the finished product of my hair and I love the way that it turned out. I really wanted to just get all the dead ends off and I didn't know if I was going to like how short it was going to be cut or not, but honestly, I am obsessed with it and I think it looks so good. I love the little layers going on in the front and I just think the framing really accentuates my face, if that makes sense. So if you've been thinking about cutting your hair a little bit shorter, highly recommend. It's always good to get a nice haircut. I haven't gotten one in a long time so my hair definitely needed it. The next clip that you're going to see is me actually going to get a tattoo. I filmed an after of my hair and me going to go and get the tattoo, but for some reason that clip is just gone. I cannot find it. Missing file situation over here. So I wanted to hop on and film and explain to you guys kind of what has been going on. So this is what my hair ended up looking like and the next clip you see is going to be me going to get a tattoo. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the clip of me getting my brand new tattoo and it will also be my last tattoo. I'm saying that now, but who knows, but I really don't want to get anything else. That was kind of the last thing that I wanted. I've wanted these for a while and then the butterfly is something that I've always really wanted to have. It's actually the t first tattoo I was going to get, but I was a little bit nervous that if I got a tattoo on my ribs that I would never go back to get another one because it's supposed to be the most painful spot to get a tattoo. I will say that if you are interested in getting a tattoo on your ribs honestly the pain is really bearable in my opinion I would say that I'm someone who does have a medium pain tolerance I used to think that I had a really low pain tolerance but as I've gotten older I feel that I can take more of the pain if it's something that I want like for piercings or tattoos my finger tattoo hurt kind of and this tattoo I didn't really feel so for my rib tattoo I did not feel the shading at all I did feel the lines like him actually doing the outline of the butterflies I I would say that my finger hurt more with the outlining. However, the coloring was really painful. So the coloring on my ribs was getting really painful. And I think it is because I did this tattoo did take 45 minutes. So I think that by the end of it, I was just kind of like in pain, like the shock of the tattoo was gone. My endorphins, as you could say, were out the window and it was just straight pain. So if you are going to get a color tattoo on your ribs and it takes longer than 40 minutes, I will say it, the coloring is painful, but the outline was very bearable, same as the shading. Could not feel the shading at all. The meaning behind the two butterflies is the small one is me and the larger one is my great grandma. She was such a big inspiration in my life and I got to 
grow up with her. She was in my life until I was 11 years old and then she sadly passed away. But she always told me that she was gonna come back as a butterfly and watch over me. In my senior year of high school, I actually went on a mission trip to Peru and every single time I went to mass, there would be a butterfly on the cross and if I looked at it, it would move and if I didn't look at it directly, it wouldn't move. So I just always kind of felt like that was her or she just was watching over me. So I wanted to get this tattoo for her ever since that moment. I just knew I was like, you know what? I want to get a butterfly tattoo and I knew that it was going to either be my first one or my last one. So this is definitely, in my opinion, going to be my last tattoo. There's nothing I really want nor do I know where I would put it, but who knows? Maybe in a couple years from now, there will be another vlog saying, getting a tattoo. So that is the tattoo that I got and the meaning behind it. If you guys want me to do a full in-depth video about all my tattoos, I would love to. Right now I'm going to go eat some pasta because I am starving and then I am going to end this video for Vlogmas Day 20. This is my lunch. I am having pasta with marinara sauce and steak. And this is the gluten-free pasta that I've made before. It is so yummy. I hope that you all have been enjoying Vlogmas. It is crazy to think that there's only five days left of a Vlogmas, but don't worry, I will be posting consistent videos after Vlogmas is over. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see me do after Vlogmas ends. I will for sure be doing a What I Got For Christmas video, hauls and everything like that after Vlogmas is over. If you guys wanna see it vlogs still, let me know. I love doing vlogs, day in my life vlogs, week in my life vlogs. I wanna do more of those. I haven't done that many, so let me know if you guys want to see a week in my life video and do not forget to enter my iPad giveaway. Make sure that you go and check out that video. I will have it linked down below for you guys because I don't want you guys to miss the opportunity of getting a brand new iPad and I am so happy and just grateful that I'm able to give back to you guys this year. I hope that if you did enjoy today's vlogmas that you do not forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below, become a part of my family. Also do not forget to like it and comment for any other videos you'd like to see me do. And I hope that wherever you are, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, that you have or had an amazing day. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.